Come on, y'all. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all. <laughs> I gotta wake up myself for real. <laughs> God bless y'all. What today is Friday. <clears throat> August 12th, 732. What it do? <laughs> day by day, loaded by loaded, y'all. Why not? Day by day, loaded by loaded. You gotta take the good with the bad. You can't have daytime without nighttime. All right, I like that. I like that. All right. All glory, honor, praise go to my Father in heaven. Lord Jesus and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who it's due. All right. All right. What's up? Tell you what. I, I like, uh, before Moses died, he blessed the tribes. Uh, he blessed the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, I like the blessing of Levi, man. Like where I like that jump. <clears throat> I'm gonna read that jump. Uh, and Deuteronomy thirty three. Uh, Deuteronomy thirty three verse eight through twelve. Brother Moses said about Levi. Deuteronomy thirty three verse eight. About Levi he said, Yet yeah, Thurman and Yerm belonged to your faithful servant. You tested him at Massa. <clears throat> you, you tested him at Massa. You contended with him at the waters of Meribah. He said of his father and mother, I have no regard for them. He did not recognize his brothers or acknowledge his own children, but he watched over your word, amen, and guarded your covenant. He teaches your precepts to Jacob and your laws to Israel. He offers incense before you and hold burnt offerings on your altar. Bless all his skills, Lord, and be pleased with the work of his hands. Strike down those who rise against him, uh, his foes, so they rise no more. <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> I love that. <laughs> I like uh, Levi's blessing. Uh, I'll be saying, uh, telling the Lord, I want, I want Levi's blessing. Like, where? Like, uh, the dude was dedicated to the Lord. This ain't Le This is the, the people, the tribe. Levi dead. Himself, this is his tribe, though. Like, where, like, something about this, you know. You know I, I like, my, so I like, say, he said of his father and mother, I have no regard for them. He didn't recognize his brothers or acknowledge his children, but he watched over your word, amen, and guarded your covenant. Right. I like that. All right, <clears throat> go to Psalms 115. I'm getting carried away. I started thinking about that, jump, but that's, that's one of the uh, greatest blessings, I think. All right. You don't just get that. He, was, uh, I, I started thinking about something. All right. He was fully dedicated to the Lord. The Lord meant more to him than his mom, dad, his sons, brothers, and he taught the word to the people. <laughs> that they, the Levites taught the word to the people. They the Levitical priests. All right. God bless them people. They, they got a good job. All right. Psalms one, uh, one fifteen, one thirteen. I ain't gonna spend too much time, but I like that. All right. Like that. <clears throat> Psalms one thirteen. Uh, Psalms one thirteen, verse one. Say, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, you His servants. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be praised, both now and forevermore, from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. The name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is exalted over all the earth. The Lord is exalted over all the nations. His glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God? The one who sits enthroned on high, who stoops down to look on the heavens and the earth. <laughs> he raises the poor from the dust and lifts and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with prince he seats them with princes, with the princes of his people. He settles the childless woman in her home as a happy mother of children. Praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, Psalms one fifteen, then I'm, I'm then I'm picking on where I left off. Psalms one fifteen. <clears throat> Say verse one. Say not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory, because of your love and faithfulness. Say, man, I like that. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory, because of your love and faithfulness. Why do the nations say, "Where is their God? Our God is in heaven. <laughs> he does whatever pleases him." <laughs> but their idols, but their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. 
They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel, feet but cannot walk, nor can they utter a sound with their throats. Those who make them will be like them. So will all who trust in them. So and so will all who trust in them. All you Israelites, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Amen. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Amen. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. Amen. He is their help and shield. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. Amen. He will bless his people Israel. Amen. He will bless the house of Aaron. Amen. He will bless those who fear the Lord. Small and great alike. Amen. May the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to mankind. It is not the dead who praise the Lord. Those who, it is not the dead who praise the Lord. Those who go down to the place of silence. It is we who will stow the Lord, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> I pick up where I left up. Man, Mark chapter uh, six. Yeah, I like this one. Bear with me and get there. Yeah, Mark chapter six, uh, verse thirty, I believe. Jesus feeds the five thousand with the type of Satan. All right. Mark chapter 6, uh, verse 30. Jesus feeds the 5,000 with types. So the apostles, <clears throat> the apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Uh, then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not have enough, that, that they did not even, then, because so many, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognized them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. <laughs> they must have been moved. <laughs> when Jesus had landed uh, and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. By this time, it was late in the day, so his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said, and it's already and it's already very late. Send the people away so that they can go to, to the surrounding countryside uh, and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered, but Jesus answered, you get them something to eat. <laughs> About 5,000 people here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Two or three people, all right. <laughs> they might got enough change on me, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, try to fit a couple of bread, hit you. <laughs> uh, 5,000 people around. <laughs> Want me to do what? <laughs> Jesus told them, uh, you get them something to eat. <laughs> they said to him, that would take more than a half a year's wages. <laughs> Are we to go and spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? <clears throat> How many loaves do you have? Uh, Jesus asked. Go and see. Uh, How many loaves do you have? He asked. Go and see. When they found out, they said five and two fish. Then Jesus directed them. I like that. Then Jesus directed them to all have the people sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the, and broke the loaves. Then he gave them. Then he gave them to his disciples and to distribute to the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up twelve baskets of broken twelve basketfuls of broken pieces of bread and fish. The number of the men who had eaten was about five thousand. Five loaves of bread and two fish ain't a whole lot. <laughs> right up. And Jesus stretched it out. They take God at his word. You take God at his word, man. I don't care what's going on. All, all the Lord needs is exactly. I, I love it. 
I, I, I thank him. I love him. He, he'll take exactly what you got around with you. <laughs> uh, word. He'll take exactly what you got around with you. <laughs> All right. They ain't had nothing around but uh, some bread and fish. Bring it to him. <laughs> word. Whatever that's around, the Lord can take exactly what you got around you and scratch it out too. Word. You'd be surprised. I like that in mind that story, like uh, Elijah and the, the that uh, Elijah and the widow with the olive oil. <clears throat> like where according to God's words, that that jar of oil ain't run out. <laughs> where according to God's word. I like man don't live off bread alone, but off every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. <laughs> where Jesus can stretch it out. All right, let me keep going. I could get I could think. <clears throat> Jesus walks on the water with the title saying. I like that though. <laughs> right. And they had enough left over too. Let me keep going. Immediately, immediately, Jesus, uh, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to Bethsaida. While he dismissed the crowd, after leaving them, he went up on the mountainside to pray. Later that night, the boat was in the middle of the lake. And he was alone on the land. He saw the disciples straining at the oars because the wind was against them. Shortly before dawn, he went down. He went down. He went out to them, walking on the lake. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know you could do that, bro. He was about to pass by them. <laughs> uh, he was walking. Mm. So he was walking. He won't walk him. He was. He won't walk him to the boat. He was walking on the water, like walking, walk, like walking past him. <laughs> it freaked me out too. Like where you see somebody just walking past you. <laughs> what in the world going on? <laughs> where I ain't saying that. <laughs> where uh, yeah, I'd have been freaked out too. He was about to pass them, but when he saw, but when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. <laughs> they cried out. <clears throat> <laughs> he saw the disciples straining at, at the oars because the wind was against them. Shortly before dawn, he went out to them, walking on the lake. He was about to pass by them, but when he saw, but when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. They cried out because they, uh, because they, because they all saw him and were terrified. <laughs> Immediately, he spoke to them and said, "Take courage." It is that. Don't be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down, and they were completely amazed. <laughs> I'd like to see how he's walking. <laughs> word. He said, word. <laughs> that done threw me off, though. He thought he was walking right past him. <laughs> word. Everybody looked back. <laughs> I'm like, this dude is wild. <laughs> I ain't know you can walk on water. He ain't saying they just walking right past him. Like, what in the world, bro? <laughs> I'd have been freaked out, too, bro. I ain't know you could do this. <laughs> Word. <laughs> now, people talk. They, they say they ain't scared or whatever, whatever. Yeah, right. <laughs> y'all ain't. Y'all freak out when y'all see little weird stuff on TV. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Let me keep going. All right. They were terrified. Immediately, he spoke to them and said, take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down, and they were completely amazed, for they, <clears throat> for they had not understood, for they had not understood. Hold on. Immediately he spoke to them and said, "Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid." Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down, for they they were com completely amazed, for they had not understood about the loaves. Their hearts were hardened. When they had crossed over the land at Genesaret, uh, and when they had, when they had crossed over, they landed at Genesaret and anchored there. As soon as they got out the boat, people recognized Jesus. <laughs> they ran they ran throughout the whole region and carried the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. <laughs> and wherever he went, into villages, towns, or countrysides, they placed the sick at the mark in the marketplaces. They begged him to let they begged him to let them even touch the edge of his cloak, and all who touched it were here were healed. Amen. 
uh, Mark chapter 7, <clears throat> uh, that which defiles, what the title say. Um, Mark chapter 7, that which defiles, uh, what the title say. Uh, verse 1 say, the Pharisees and some of the teachers of the law who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, uh, gathered around Jesus and saw some of his disciples eating food with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. <laughs> the Pharisees and all the Jews did not eat unless they gave, unless they give their hands a ceremonial washing, holding to the tradition of the elders. When they had come, when they had come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. And they observe many other traditions, such as the washing of cups, pitchers, and kettles. So the Pharisees, so the Pharisees and teachers of the law asked Jesus, "Why don't your disciples live according to the tradition of the elders instead of eating their food with defiled hands?" He replied, "Isaiah was right." Jesus replied, "Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you." Uh, hypocrites <laughs> as it is written these people honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me amen they worship me they worship me in vain their teaching are merely human rules Word. that's all a lot of people do you go to the church they put put rules and stuff on hmm. you ain't got to change up nothing they expect you to be a certain way do this and do that or hmm. They try to straighten you up or somebody they try somebody try to straighten you up or something. The Lord Jesus can make you stand up straight. Hmm. Up. Hmm. There's a lot of people out in the street hmm. that, that that honor the Lord and where. Hmm. Hmm. It's, uh, it's a whole lot of people. It don't matter where you at. Say these people, a lot of people just talk about the Lord. Hmm. He ain't nowhere in their hearts at all. Like where you can see when you can see uh you can see you can see the heart of a person. I'm like where you can see the heart of a person, like where if you look real good. But uh, a lot of people just lip service type of stuff. But uh Yeah, Jesus I said uh, Isaiah was right when uh when he prophesied about you, hypocrites. As it is written, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain, and their teaching are merely human rules. You have you have let go of the commands of God and are holding on to human traditions. Human traditions, And he continued, you have a fine way of setting aside the commands of God in order to observe your own traditions. For Moses said, honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their father and mother is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father and mother is Corbin, that is, devoted to God, then you no longer let them then then you no longer let them do anything for their father or mother. Thus you nullify the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down, and you do many and you do many things like that. Hmm. Where right. Moses said, Honor your father or mother, and anyone who curses their father or mother is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is Corbin, that is devoted to God then you no longer let them do anything for their father or mother. Mm. Thus you nullify the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down, and you do many things like that. These people are supposed to be helping them. Mom, dad, but they say they use... Mm. But what they use, they say they're using for God or something. Mm. Then you no longer let them... Do then you no longer let them do anything for their father or mother. Our father or mother. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to come back to this. And he said, you do many things like that. That dang show is true. Hmm. Said you got to find way of setting aside the commands of God, the commands of God, in order to observe your own traditions. They do things the way they want to do it. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, again, <clears throat> verse fourteen. 
Again, Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen to me, everyone, and, un and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile them by, by going into them. Rather, what comes out of a person, that defiles them. After he had left the crowd and entered the, and entered the house, his disciples asked him about this parable. Are you still so dull? He asked. <laughs> don't you see that nothing don't you see that nothing enters a person from the outside can defile them? For it doesn't go into their heart, but into their stomach, and then out the body. And saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. He went on, What comes out of a person is what defiles them, for it is from within out of a person's heart. He went on, What comes out of a person is what defiles them, for it is from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come, sexual morality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, and folly. All these evils come from inside and defile a person. Amen. Uh, Jesus honors a sorrow a sorrowful a sorrowful he this is a tough word to pronounce <laughs> the title is uh, Jesus honor Jesus honors a sorrowful e woman's faith Jesus honors a sorrowful for he woman's faith. Read the title. Try to <laughs> see what I'm looking at. Mark chapter 7 verse 24. If you got an NIV Bible, uh, you can see what I'm looking at. Uh, Mark chapter 7 verse 24 7. Jesus left that place and went to the village of Tyre. He entered the house. <clears throat> he entered the house and did not want anyone to know it. Yet, he could not keep his presence secret. <laughs> In fact, as soon as, <laughs> in fact, as soon as she heard about him, a woman whose little daughter was possessed by an impure spirit came and fell at his feet. <laughs> uh, Jesus left that place and went to the vicinity of Tyre. He entered the house and did not want anyone to know it. Yet he could not keep his presence secret. In fact, as soon as she heard about him. <laughs> A woman whose little daughter was possessed by an impure spirit came and fell at his feet. This woman was a Greek, born in Cyrene. Uh, Cyrene, Phoen Phoencia. She begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. First, uh, first the little children eat all they want, he told her. For it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Lord, she replied, even the dogs, even the dogs under the table eat the children's eat the children's crumbs. Then he told her, For such a reply, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. She went on and found her child lying on the bed, and the demon gone. I like that. I like that. Jesus ain't gonna never turn nobody away. You ain't going to see that with a whole lot of other people. A lot of people, you go to this woman. It's something about a... Hmm. I like the way uh, Mark tells it. Right. Yeah, this is a Greek woman. Jesus is a Jewish man. Jesus, he ain't gonna turn nobody away. <laughs> All right. Jesus said, first let the children eat all they want. <laughs> the children is God's people. And the Lord came to, to his own. <laughs> that his own didn't receive him. <laughs> he was just he was just telling telling the woman. First let the children eat all they want, he told him. But it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Jesus has now compared this woman to a dog. And she understands she understand what he's talking about. The children 
is the is God's he talking about God God's people, the children of Israel, like the people of Israel, the Jews or whatever. And she knows exactly what she knows exactly what Jesus is saying to her. Mark. This is a Greek woman. Okay? It's a Greek woman. And uh and she came to Jesus and she begged him. And Jesus told her, first let the children eat all they want, he told her. But it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Lord, she replied, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And then he told her, but such a reply, she, anybody else would have got mad at Jesus. What, Jesus Jesus just now told her. First, basically he's saying, first let me go to my people and do what I got to do for them first. And then I come back and help you. That's what he's saying to him. And in 2022 words, all right, this woman came to Jesus, fell at his feet, and begged him, and begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. Jesus said, first, let the children eat all they want, he told her. But it's not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. He just compared her with a dog. Listen to the woman. Lord, she replied, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he told her, for such a reply, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. She went home and found her child lying on the bed and the demon gone. I like that. Let me keep going. Jesus heals a deaf and a mute man. Jesus heals a deaf and a mute man. Then Jesus left the vicinity of Tyre and went through Sidon, down to the Sea of Galilee and into the region of the Decapitol the Decapolis and into the region of the Decapolis uh, there some people brought to him a man who was deaf and could hardly talk and they begged Jesus to place his hand on him after he took him aside away from the crowd Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears and then he spit and touched the man's tongue he, he looked up to heaven and with a deep sigh said to him, I can't repeat this word. Oh, oh, it's hard even. Uh, F. F. Uh, F. 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 Which means be open. At this, the man's ears swelled. open. His tongue was loose, and he began to speak plainly. <laughs> Jesus commanded them. Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone. But the more, but the more he did so, the more they kept talking about it. <laughs> People were overwhelmed with amazement. Then, then uh, he he has done everything well. They said. He even he even makes the deaf <laughs> he even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. I like that. People were overwhelmed with amazement. He has done everything well, they said. And then, I like that. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Mark chapter eight. Um, Jesus feeds the four thousand with the title saying. Mark chapter 8, verse 1. Say, during those days, another large crowd gathered since uh, since they had nothing to eat. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me for three days. They, they have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will collapse on their way because some of them have come a long distance. His disciples answered but where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. When he had taken the seven loaves and given thanks, he broke them and gave them to his, to his disciples to distribute to the people. And they did so. They had a few small fish as well. He gave thanks for them also and told the disciples to distribute them. The people ate and were satisfied. Afterward, the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. About 4,000 were present. After he had sent them away, he got into the boat uh, with his disciples and went to the region of Dalmat 
thou mine, thou mine, nothing. The Pharisees came and began to question Jesus, to test him. They asked him for a sign from heaven. <laughs> a sign from heaven. <laughs> I ain't showing you nothing. <laughs> they asked him for it. <laughs> the Pharisees asked him for it. Oh, you think I'm a magician? <laughs> Word. This ain't no magic show. <laughs> you, 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 you gonna see a sign. <laughs> be the last sign you see. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Alright. Where I start from? Uh, uh, the Pharisees came and began to question Jesus to test him. <laughs> uh, what? What? Uh, that, that's what a lot of people want to do. A lot of people they want to test the Lord. Like where? I promise you, they just want to, they where just to prove him wrong or something. <laughs> they wonder why they really don't get no response to that. Mark, uh, Matthew chapter four. Uh. Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, Jesus told Satan, <clears throat> it's also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. <laughs> a lot of people want to test the Lord somehow, some way. <laughs> they testing him right here <laughs> with questions, trying to prove he really God. <laughs> do something. If you're really who you say you is, do something. <laughs> Ain't really too smart. Um, but, uh, where did, they wonder why they don't get no response or no word. They test him all kind of ways, but um, the Pharisees came and began to question Jesus. To test him. They asked him for a sign from heaven. <laughs> I ain't showing you nothing. He sighed deep. He he sighed deeply. <laughs> he sighed. Took a deep breath in. These people. <laughs> I I'd like to I'd like to man because it's 2022 and we we, we speak in English. We speak in English now. But, Couple thousand years ago, that we, we all, probably all be speaking. Uh, it's, it's different groups of people right here, though. So ain't no telling who we be speaking. But mm. but I, I like to hear that dialect in Eng in English, two thousand twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> where <laughs> I don't know the Lord, I, I I get carried away thinking about a certain stuff. But where hmm. all right? Anyway, let me keep reading. He sighed deeply and said, "Why do this generation ask for a sign? Truly, I tell you." Truly, I tell you, no sound will be given to, uh, given to it. Then he left them, got back into the boat, and crossed to the other side. The yeast of the Pharisees and Herod, with the title say, inherit. The yeast of the Pharisees and Herod, the title say. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, <laughs> except for one loaf they had with them in the boat. Be careful, Jesus warned them. Watch out for the yeast of the Pharisees and that of Herod. <laughs> they discussed this with one another and said, It's because we have no bread. <laughs> <laughs> they think about they they think about real food. <laughs> they discuss it with each other. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's talking about <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Aware of their aware of their discussion, Jesus asked them, "Why are you talking about having no bread? <laughs> Do you still not see or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes but fail to see, and ears but fail to hear? And don't you remember when I broke the five loaves for five thousand? How many basketfuls of pieces did did you pick up? Twelve, they replied. And when I broke the seven loaves." For the four thousand, how many basketfuls of pieces did you pick up? They answered, seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand? Jesus tells a blind man at Bathsheba. Jesus Jesus heals a blind man at Bethsaida. What the title say? They came to Beth, uh, Bethsaida, and some people brought a blind man, and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, Do you see anything? 
He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were open. His sight was restored. He saw everything clearly. Jesus sent them home saying, don't even go into the, don't even go into the village. <clears throat> Jesus sent them home saying, don't even go into the village. Hmm. Peter declares that Jesus is the Messiah, what the title is saying. Jesus and, his, Jesus and his disciples went on to the village around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked them, Who do people say I am? <laughs> I like to have been around the Lord. <laughs> Throw the physicals. <laughs> this is a wild dude. <laughs> hey. If you got a if you got a man, that's a highly respect thing. I got I got two little brothers. And the Lord, he not he not a, he not ashamed to call us brothers. And let's see. Bear with me for a second. Bear with me for a second. <sighs> Hebrews 2. I got a little sister too. But, um, Hebrews 2. Uh, I love it. Uh, Hebrews 2, verse uh, 11 say. Both the one who makes people holy and those who are made holy are of the same family. So Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters. He says, I will declare your name. I will declare your name to my brothers and sisters in the assembly. I, I will sing your praises. Right. <laughs> Ain't afraid to call us brothers and sisters. In fact, man, like, uh, why did I go there? I started thinking about something. Oh, yeah. I'm not good. Oh, who do people say I am? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can mess with the Lord. <laughs> he got, a, he got a sense of humor, man. <laughs> Word up. That guy, little brothers and stuff, and uh, they know I'm, I'm a friendly brother. Like I don't want them. I'm their friends and stuff. Like I'm, I'm not a friend. where you can can't really talk to me. Kind of way disrespecting, you know what I mean? But you can talk to me and like word, like word. But you know what I mean, I'm a, I'm a friendly brother. <laughs> You know what I mean? Same time, not your friends. Well, you know what I mean? Like, it's a respect thing. I can talk to the Lord about anything. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna talk to him crazy, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, it's a respect thing. You know you see what I'm saying? But I can talk to him about anything. Anyway, you know what I mean? I ain't got a problem. Good day, bad day. If I'm in the right mood, wrong mood, I can go all of it. That's a respect thing. You see what I'm saying? That's the whole point I'm saying. All right. I, I, I like to bend around this. I like to bend around Because he, he, he messing with he messing with them. <laughs> Who do people say I am? <laughs> he just, he, word, that's what he, they replied. Some say John the Baptist. Others uh, say Elijah. And still others, uh, one of the prophets. But what about you? He asked. Who do you say I am? <laughs> Peter answered. <laughs> Peter, Peter answered. You are the Messiah. <laughs> Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him. <laughs> Jesus predicts his death. <clears throat> he began, then he began the way Mark tell him, Mark straight to the point. You got Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are all four telling their accounts uh, when they was around the Lord, when when they was with him. They all telling their versions of how, how things was going on. Mark, he straight to the point. <laughs> Jesus predicts his death. Uh, then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days uh, rise again. He spoke plainly about this, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. <laughs> I don't think Peter knew the scriptures too much. Isaiah and the rest of them, he said he had to go. You go to Genesis uh Go to Genesis 
Go to Genesis chapter uh, 3. Jesus, Jesus just now said, I must suffer many things, be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, the teachers of the law. I must be killed, and after three days, rise again. <laughs> he messed them up with that, but but it always been God's plan for that. <clears throat> In Genesis chapter 3, 315, In Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Let me back it up to verse 14. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. I put enmity between you and the woman, between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. Hmm. Who is he? He will crush your head. That's Lord Jesus. <laughs> it's in Genesis chapter 3. And you will strike his heel. What is his heel? Death on the cross? <laughs> Why that? That ain't nothing but a strike. That ain't that nothing to him. Why hurt? You see? That's a long time ago. All right. Let me keep going. <laughs> All right. Uh, Peter started to rebuke Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus on the mission. Like a lot of people ain't on the mission. We got earthly things in our mind. We want to build a big house and live here and vacation type stuff like that or whatever. <laughs> uh, ain't nothing wrong with those things. They cool. But... All right, let me keep reading. But Jesus, but when Jesus turned and looked at his, uh, but when Jesus turned and looked at and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have thank you. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. <laughs> Why not? Jesus said, I, I got I got something to do. <laughs> he wasn't afraid to go do it neither. Why? Why? I like them. I like them. <laughs> Alright. The way the way of the cross was the title saying. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. For what good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Amen. Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and of and my words and this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his, in his Father's glory and with the holy angels. <laughs> Say that again. <clears throat> if anyone is ashamed of me and my words and this adulterous and sinful generation, you look on TV and you see all the stuff these people <laughs> not ashamed of and this and that or whatever. <laughs> Word up, these people... <laughs> Why? I don't care. I don't care what people think about me. The people, hey, I love Lord. I love the Lord all my heart, mind, and soul. I'm the same person I was, as everybody know, or whatever. Where ain't nothing soft about me, no nothing this, that, or whatever. One thing I ain't ashamed of is knowing who the Lord is. I tell you, that's one of my greatest. That's one of my greatest treasures. Wear it up, crown my crown of glory. To know the Lord, that's the most valuable thing I have in my life. That mean more to me than my mom, my dad, my great grandma, my my sister, my brother, my niece, my nephews, the money, anything. Knowing the Lord is more valuable than any of those things. You hear me? Why? Wouldn't trade it for nothing. I love them all to death. Why? These people. Why? Yeah. All right. But uh. Yeah. Lord Jesus said, uh, If anyone is ashamed of me and my words, and it's a dodgeous and sinful generation, you know, people, you, you don't think, you, you don't think, you, you don't think people, all the people that, that be around, bro, and that all this, I'll tell you, wild stuff too, the females and stuff, people worry about reputation, you know, people worry about the image they got to keep up, whatever. I don't care about no image or none, none of that stuff. Word up. Oh, he a church dude or whatever. I don't care if, I don't care how y'all people feel. There's a lot of people don't like me because of the way I am. 
I ain't gonna be happy for me, B. I'll tell you that. I love being how I am or whatever. But nah, I ain't afraid of no image, no reputation, no none of that stuff. You know, this and that, whatever. Uh, I was about to go somewhere else with it. <laughs> well, yeah, people crazy. <laughs> Word up. I ain't worried about none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. But if anyone is ashamed of me and my words, and it's a adulterous and, uh, adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them. When he comes, when he comes in his in his father's glory and with the holy angels, Mark chapter nine verse one, and he said to them, "Truly I tell you, some of you are some some truly I tell you, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see, before they see the kingdom of God has, come, before they see that the kingdom of God has come with power." Amen. The transfiguration with the title saying. After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them up on a high mountain where they were all alone. There he was transfigured before them. His clothes became dazzling, dazzling, dazzling white, <laughs> whiter, than, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. <laughs> and there appeared before him Elijah and, Moses, Elijah, Elijah and Moses who were talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. <laughs> he did not know what to say. <laughs> he, he did not know what to say. They were so frightened. <laughs> yeah, uh, he still don't recognize what's going on. <laughs> they, I talk, they still don't recognize. He, I'm telling you. They don't recognize who the Lord is all the way. Because if they did... You will be on your knees twenty four seven. I'm just saying, because every time you look, every time you look at him, just just to look and get a glimpse at him. I'm telling you, you gonna you gonna fall down on your face. It's gonna unless you got you got to keep on touch till you get up. Well, you gonna tell you get up, be strong, take care of something. because you're gonna be down on your face, bro. I'm just saying, it's too much to think about. It's too much to think about. It's too much to think about. It, it's overwhelming. It is. It really is overwhelming. Like where I can't I can't even fathom it all the way. Like where I'm just saying, to be in his presence, you're gonna fall down on your face. There's too much to think about. Where? Why is too much to think about? They didn't recognize. It. They like they was with they was with the Lord. <laughs> they walking with him. They walking with him up the mountain. <laughs> they probably wonder where this dude taking us to. <laughs> where? <laughs> he even transformed right in front of him. His clothes became white, that dazzling white, whiter than any whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. And there appeared before him Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. <laughs> he didn't know what to say. They were so frightened. Then a cloud appeared. <laughs> then a cloud appeared and covered them. Amen. <laughs> then a cloud appeared and covered them. That's the Holy Spirit. You got Jesus. You got this cloud. <laughs> uh, First John chapter five. I like the King James version. First John chapter five verse seven. The King James version uh, make let's say it's three that testify that bear record in heaven: the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> You're gonna see all three. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Word right up. Uh, you're going to see all three. Uh, you see Jesus? Uh, wait a minute. All right. Okay. Wait a minute. All right. Uh, yeah. You see Jesus? Mm. You see the cloud? That ain't no regular cloud. Then a cloud appeared and covered them. Mm. This cloud, the Holy Spirit. And a voice came from the cloud. This is my son, <laughs> whom I love. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they no, they no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Uh, as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus gave them the orders not to tell anyone. They fell on their they fell on their face too. Mark ain't got it in there right here. Listen, I was Mark ain't got it in there. I told you, Mark straight to the point the way he telling the jump. Like where I like this though. As they were coming uh, down the mountain, Jesus gave them the orders not to tell anyone what they had seen 
they seen Jesus. Jesus transformed right in front of them, man. Where? <laughs> Like he he, he put he, he he changed back to his regular clothes and stuff. Now they coming back down the mountain. This would have freaked me out. They they seen Jesus resurrect his resurrected form. Like like where like he always he can change anytime he won't change. Like where where that threw me off something terrible. <laughs> I'd have I'd have been super pumped up, bro. I'm telling you, where I seen y'all y'all just see what happened, bro. <laughs> and everyone get to see this. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. That'd have been it for me. Alright. Alright, let me uh, keep going. Uh I got ten minutes. Ain't no times one that phase. Uh okay. Uh, as they were coming down the mount, Jesus gave them the orders not to tell anyone what they had seen. What they had seen until the Son of Man had been had risen from the dead. They kept the matters to themselves, discussing what rising from the dead meant. <laughs> he told y'all I'm coming back. And where in three days? I'm like, he told them in three days I'm, I'm, I'm coming back. After he was nailed to the cross. They couldn't get over that. They couldn't get over him being nailed to the cross. They couldn't get over him talking about dying in general. <laughs> Word. <laughs> they didn't understand. <laughs> it's always been God's plan. <laughs> I, I took y'all to Genesis. I took y'all to Genesis chapter 3. Let me take you back to Genesis chapter 1. You take even back a, just a little, little bit more. In Genesis chapter 1. <laughs> verse 26. Say, then God said, let us make mankind in our image and our likeness so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and over the wild animals, <laughs> over all the creatures that move along, the, over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image and the image of God. He created them male and female. He created them. <laughs> OK, God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful, increase in them. Fill the earth, subdue it, rule over the fish of the sea, the birds, the birds in the sky, and over every living thing, every living creature that moves along the ground. Well, Adam and Eve came. Hmm. <laughs> but God blessed the people before. Like where? God blessed the people before. Adam and Eve wasn't even formed. When God when God spoke these words, Adam and Eve wasn't even formed yet. <laughs> Word. That's Genesis one. Genesis chapter two. Then it happens with stuff were finished. God blessed. Uh, God blessed the seventh day, made a hole. He rested from all the work. <laughs> uh, well, no shrub and no earth yet sprang up. Uh, then Genesis chapter two verse seven say, "Then the Lord God made a man <laughs> from the dust of the ground." So why you read that divine saying? <laughs> Cause we we currently being made in His image. Uh, it, it, it always has been God's plan. God always. I I got seven minutes to explain the beginning. <laughs> Try that. Uh, <laughs> but it's it, it has always been God's plan. Uh, Jesus to go to the cross. Uh, it all in order for. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. The Lord, he, he he making us now. It has always been His plan to make us in His image. We, we made us in from talking about to be God's word is perfect. Like, everything He did is perfect. Like where it even through the mistakes and stuff, the sin, and Satan and stuff in the world, they going. God still got everything perfectly under control. His word, His plan is still flawless. Like where, even through all the BS and stuff that's going on in the world, like where it's always been his plan, uh, they didn't understand that. Uh, where did I go to? They got, they got wondering what this is talking about rising from the dead. <laughs> where it, uh, it always been the Lord's plan, man. Again, I'm trying to think about how to put all this in five minutes. Uh, but it always has been intended like that. I noticed the Lord placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Heaven is his throne. The earth is his footstool. <laughs> you see, when the Lord pre-blessed us, 
and it's and it's infinite knowledge. He already he already had these things planned out. <laughs> like where? Like he already he already go back to the beginning. The Lord blessed the people. <laughs> we all blessed we all blessed through the Lord. Through, 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 we all blessed through Lord Jesus. We all being made into the the way he wants us to be made through Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus had to fall. It was it was God's will, and it was God's will for him to fall and to be risen again. Amen. It always has been. From the beginning of creation, it's been God's plan. Okay. No one can fathom. No one can fathom what God has been doing from beginning to end. Not even that. I'm trying to fit all in five minutes. I'd like to see someone else try. <laughs> but uh, let me keep reading. Right. Mark chapter 9 verse 11 And they asked him Why do the teachers of the law say that Elijah must come first? Jesus, Jesus replied To be sure Elijah does come first And restores all things Why then is it written That the son of man must suffer much And be rejected But I tell you why then is it written that the Son of Man must suffer much and be rejected? But I tell you, Elijah has come, and they have done to him everything they wish, just as it just as it was just as it is written about him. Jesus heals a bo a boy possessed by an impure spirit. The title said. When they came to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around him, and teachers of the law arguing with them. As soon as all the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed, were wandering, and ran over to greet him. What are you arguing? What are you arguing with them about? He asked. A man in the crowd answered, "Teacher, I brought I brought you my son, who was possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of speech. Whenever it seizes him, it throws him it throws him to the ground. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid." I asked your disciples to drive out the spirit, but they could not. You unbelieving generation, Jesus Jesus replied. How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought the boy to him. When the, when the spirit saw Jesus, whoo. <laughs> yeah, do nothing. When the spirit saw him, I told him. They recognized the presence of the Lord. They could see it clear as day. They could see it to other people. They didn't. His, his, his disciples <laughs> uh, were. You could see the Lord through the people too, if they if they really would it. But they won't. I don't know. But I'm gonna keep on. Soon, when the Spirit saw Jesus, it immediately threw the boy into a convulsion. He fell to the ground and rolled around, foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Jesus asked the boy's father, "How long has he been like this?" From childhood, he answered. It has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him. But if you could do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, Jesus said, everything is possible for one who believes. Amen. I like that. The man said to Jesus, if you could do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, Jesus said, said Jesus, if you can. Hmm. Everything is possible for one who believes. Amen. Immediately, immediately, the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Amen. When Jesus saw that the crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, come out of him and never enter him again. The spirit shriveled, convulsed him, and, and violently came out. The boy looked so much like a corpse that many said he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet, and he stood up. After Jesus had gone indoors, he gave uh, his disciples came, asked him privately, "Why couldn't we drive it out?" He replied, "This kind can come out only by prayer." Right. Jesus predicts his death a second time. <clears throat>
All right, Jesus, Jesus produces death a second time. They left that place and passed through Galilee. Jesus, Jesus did not want anyone to know where he, where they was, where they were, because he was teaching his disciples. He said to them, "The Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. They will kill him, but after three days he will rise." But they did not understand what he meant and were afraid to ask him about it. They came to Capernaum. When he was in the house, he asked them, "What are you arguing? What what were you arguing about on the road?" But they kept quiet because, but they kept quiet because of the way they had argued. But they kept quiet because on the way they had argued about who was the greatest. <laughs> Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, "Anyone who wants to be first must be the very last and a servant of all." He took a little child whom he placed among them, taking the child in his arms. He said to them, Whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me. And whoever and whoever welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but the one who sent me. <clears throat> Amen. I'm gonna stop right there, y'all. Cause I'm gonna end up going over on this show. Yeah, God bless y'all, man. Yeah, God bless y'all. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. Take y'all time. Today, Friday. And every time I say Friday, that movie pop up in my head. <laughs> but, <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all. <laughs> but y'all enjoy the rest of y'all time. Um, you never get step two without taking step one. Step one, taking God is where they, man. Keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit too. If He ain't gave it to you yet, He gonna give it to you. Keep on asking. Keep on asking. If He ain't did it for you already, man, you need that. You need Him. Right up. Very important. Very highly important. He gonna give it to you. But right. He leading you on the way now. <clears throat> y'all keep praying for me. I keep praying for y'all too. And I see y'all. God bless y'all.